Hey, what's going on guys? So it's been a little while since I made a video about this and talked about it, but some of my more popular search videos each month have been around NVIDIA control panel settings. So we're gonna dive into that again. We're almost halfway through the year uh, and they always have new updates coming out, new settings to look at. So I'm gonna show you my NVIDIA control panel. But not only that, we're gonna look at G-Sync, V-Sync, if you want to have no screen tearing whatsoever, maybe you have a 144 hertz monitor uh, like I have, and I also actually recently upgraded for my primary monitor, a 240 hertz monitor, Alienware. We're going to look at should you have G-Sync on, V-Sync on, if you want the best looking possible game, which on my last video, I talked about how I had everything off to be the most competitive for Fortnite, to have no input delay. Everyone was still asking questions about capping frames and G-Sync and V-Sync and whether they should do that. So that's why I'm going to dive into this right now. So let's take a look at it and go through all those questions. Okay guys, so I bring you to this website. I think you can see it. Let me maybe move it over. Well, it'll be fine. So the the, the primary uh, location down here, this this bar, you can talk about having everything off. So G-Sync off, V-Sync off. Capping your frames in-game, they have it at 142 on blurbusters.com. They ultimately recommend to cap it at 141 frames per second to make sure it gives you enough headroom where you're not going over that level of 144. Reason being, when you're capping your frames, it gives you better results for input delay. So they're showing on this chart, and the reason I bring it up is if you have everything off, your average input delay is 21 milliseconds according to this chart. If you start turning on G-Sync or start turning on V-Sync, you can see on the next bar up, G-Sync on, V-Sync off while capping. Now your input delay goes up to 22 milliseconds. If you turn on G-Sync and V-Sync in your NVIDIA control panel, now and also capping, now you're at 23 milliseconds. So the, my last video where I talked about being the most competitive and having everything off, that's because of input delay in Fortnite, you gotta be quick. But if you are not a sweat and you want to just have a good looking game, having G-Sync on, V-Sync on is butter, right? I mean, it looks super smooth. There's no screen tearing across your monitor while you're turning left and right and being quick. So that's why a lot of people are asking about capping the frames and turning this stuff on. So if you want to do this, you can just bear in mind that you're going to have some input delay when you turn on these additional things. So G-Sync being the next one up, V-Sync off, and then lastly on top, G-Sync plus V-Sync. On 144 hertz monitor, I just want to point this out. You see a little bit of input delay added the further up you go with these settings. Let me go over to a 240 hertz monitor like I just recently upgraded to. There is hardly no difference in input delay on any of these settings. So if you have everything off, you know, they average out that it's 19 milliseconds input delay. The next one up, you turn G-Sync on, V-Sync off, 19 millisecond input delay. And then also G-Sync plus V-Sync on in the video control panel and capping is still the same. So they're saying that a 240 hertz monitor, there's really no penalty for turning on those features, unlike a 144 hertz monitor. So interesting that the higher up you go in hertz, the less input delay that there is, right? That's kind of what we know, the higher up in hertz that uh, quite a lot of the pros play with those uh, more expensive monitors. Now you're wondering, okay, what's, uh, what does it look like in the NVIDIA control panel? That's what you want to see. Well, I'm going to minimize everything here and that way you can see this and maybe zoom in on it so you can see exactly what it is. I'm not going to go through each and every single thing, but I'm just going to scroll down slowly so you can see my exact settings that I have it set to now. And that's with everything off. G-Sync off, V-Sync off. Now, if you want to set up G-Sync, what you're gonna wanna do first is head over into your set up G-Sync. Apply the following changes. Enable G-Sync or G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Either one probably be fine, but enable for full screen. Hit apply and that will make you go back. Okay, my monitor flickered enough times there for me once I turned it on, but now it's on, I have it enabled. I wanna go back into my Manage 3D settings. Scroll down to the point where it says monitor technology and it should say G-Sync or G-Sync compatible. That's the only thing I should have changed really. And can I just say one thing here before we go too far? This low latency mode, in both videos that I've done about G-Sync or V-Sync, everyone says, oh, you need to have that to Ultra. Not true, you don't, no. And I said that in my last one, nobody believes me. I'm gonna leave in the description, Battle Nonsense is his name. He did a test on this low latency mode, very thorough test. And if you don't believe me, he, he completely goes through the numbers on there. There is no benefit to the low latency mode unless you're GPU bound, meaning that your GPU is being maxed out in the game 97% or higher. Now you can still have this on, but it's not gonna really benefit you. And in fact, it actually is a small 
minor disadvantage of having on for input delay if you're not GPU bound. So I, I just bring that up because I got so many comments on that. Like I said, his name is Battle Nonsense. He did a video on this November of last year when this thing came out. And you can see for yourself of uh, having it off if you're not GPU bound. So anyways, let's keep going. So now that I have G-Sync enabled, that's the, the first option that we can do, right? If we go back to this, that's G-Sync on, this middle option, G-Sync on, V-Sync off. Well then, you know, how do we cap our gain, our frames per second in Fortnite? Well, there's a couple ways of doing it. You could do it in here, which I had talked about. Max uh, frame rates, you can you can set whatever you want it to be. I don't recommend that. What I actually recommend is going into the in-game files of Fortnite. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Or if you're playing like Call of Duty or you're playing some of these other games that have a slider in your uh, graphic settings in the game, a lot of times they'll let you set it to be whatever you want it to be. Set it on 144 hertz monitor if you're using G-Sync or G-Sync plus V-Sync. Set it at 141 frames per second. Oh, and lastly here, V-Sync. If you want to turn it on, right here, vertical sync on. And then you can go ahead and uh, you can do it in the in-game files if you wanted to in your, in your actual game settings or turn it on right here and it will be on for uh, all your games across the board. So I'll leave that up to you. And then last but not least, if there's an apply button, go down and hit apply. So now for Fortnite, let's look at how do we cap our frames per second in the in-game files, because in Fortnite, there is no way to uh, cap it at, at 141. It's not possible or 237 in the in-game. It doesn't let you do it. So what you want to do is go down here into your search bar. Type in percentage local app data and should pop up this folder. Click on that. I'll make sure you can see this here. And then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to Fortnite, see if we can find it. Fortnite game, click on saved, click on config, uh, click on Windows client. This is what we wanna go into, but before we do, right click it, I'm sorry, yeah, right click it, hit properties, make sure this read only is unchecked. You don't want that on right now. Next thing you want to do is click it on, click on the uh, game user settings file and scroll down until you see the uh, frames per second. Frame rate limit. Mine right now is 240. If I had 144 hertz monitor, which I still do as my second monitor, but I'm playing on this one as my primary, you would want to cap it at 141. If I'm on 240 hertz like I am right now, you can cap it at 237. And then what you'd want to do next is go up to file, save, exit out of that, right click your game user settings, go to properties and click on read only and hit apply. That is going to make sure that it does not change in game on you. The moment you load up your game, I hit my mic, uh, is the moment you load up your game, it's not going to automatically change it back. It's going to keep it at that. So let's load into Fortnite and I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, then you guys should be all set for G-Sync. And if you want to use V-Sync, uh, try to use both, see which one you prefer. Or if you want to be super competitive, turn it all off to have absolutely no input delay. So let's head into the game. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, guys, so we made it over into the game. And as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I am capped at 237 frames per second. Or in your case, if you had capped at 141, you should be at 141 with your 144 hertz monitor. But I want to show you what it looks like in the settings and what you don't want to mess with, because if you do change it, it might make your settings weird. But if you go into your settings, it will say your frame rate limit in the game is 60 frames per second. Well, that's because we went into the in-game files and we made it custom and it, it will be what you set it to, 237, as long as you followed what I said earlier. Uh, that way, when you go in, now your uh, G-Sync or your V-Sync uh, are you know applied and active and uh, they're not gonna be giving you a ton of input delay because you capped it in your in-game files. So same thing is true if you play other games like Call of Duty uh, Warzone, you can go in there and cap it at whatever you want to in the actual game settings. But uh, otherwise, that's it, guys. That's how you set up G-Sync, V-Sync if you want the perfect butter smooth looking game and uh, you're not too, too concerned with input delays. So hope you guys appreciated it. If you did, drop a like. If you made it this far, hit subscribe. Uh, I go live Tuesdays and Fridays with the community, with you guys, uh, and I talk through my Discord if uh, you ever want to get a game in with myself and some of my friends. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, guys, we'll see ya.